If you are willing, you can make me clean. If you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus moved with compassion. And this is the funny, this is a very um, interesting aspect of what was happening in the mind of God with Christ. When you look at the Old Testament, God who had the ability to kill and maim at will, because the Old Testament gave leeway for that to happen, no one could keep the thing. Now we have a God who has opened himself up and given himself over to compassion. Now it's not that he didn't have the kindness and the compassion prior to this, but now his hands are tied in a way as to make compassion and kindness and mercy and all the rest of it. And there's a stingray there. I don't think you'd be able to see him. The priority for his people within his plan. Now it would be easy to think that God was using his kindness and compassion as a form of manipulation to help the people see and understand that the Messiah had come and this was the word become flesh Emmanuel God with us Isaiah 9 present but it was more than that this was the nature of God all along this was the will and the purpose of God all along the part of God that's evil in the sense that it harms people it's very difficult to understand to I don't know, it's just very difficult to grasp but it's there we can't deny that it's there but in here now the Lord Jesus Christ is moved with compassion and he stretched out his hand and touched him and said I am willing to be cleansed as soon as he had spoken immediately the leprosy left him now could you imagine being present at an event like this can you imagine standing there and seeing somebody with leprosy gone for garters sick and ill worn out brutalized by the disease demoralized by this horrible filthy terrible disease that gets in the body and rots it and just gnaws at the flesh instantly and miraculously healed now this was all again to help people see that the lord jesus christ wasn't just a magician or a prophet the lord jesus christ was the messiah and this is what the godhead's trying to get across and he strictly warned him and sent him away at once and said to him see that you say nothing to anyone but go your way Show yourself to the priests and offer your, for your cleansing those things which Moses commanded as a testimony to them. This was the Lord, and the, the, this is what we've got to understand. The New Testament hadn't been cut yet, had it? It hadn't been cut because the Lord hadn't died yet. <coughs> Excuse me, viewers. Oh, I nearly vomited then. The smoke is so thick. And what's happened here is, without offer making an offering or anything like that, the Lord Jesus Christ has healed the man, and then he said, don't say anything to anyone. Now, he's playing on the sinful nature there, because he knew very well that the leper would go and tell people, like, how could you not? How could you not? That was his way of getting the word out even further. Tell a rebel not to do something and you know they will. <clears throat> Grateful or not. But um, he sends him to carry out the instructions and demands and regulations of the Mosaic law. Now this was, the, this was the beauty of the narrative, wasn't it? Because they were still under the law. 
in no way was Jesus trying to abuse the necessities of the Mosaic law at this stage because it hadn't been fulfilled it was going to be fulfilled but it hadn't been fulfilled at this time we're still in the Old Testament when the Lord Jesus Christ is walking around we're still under well they're still we're still reading about people that are under the Old Testament now we're way out in in the back here we're at the mercy of the elements I do hope you're enjoying this however oh look however and this is what I was saying about the sinful nature and how we do the opposite of God's word the leper he went out and began to proclaim <laughs> to proclaim it freely and spread the matter so that Jesus could no longer openly enter the city he sent out that leper as an evangelist and he did his job and he did it well the Lord couldn't no longer he was like a rock star as it were with the paparazzi and everyone trying to follow him and get his attention all because the, he told the leper not to tell anyone knowing that he would that's how our human nature works when it comes to the things of God our sinful nature needs rules and regulations to empower itself and here's a classic example of that despite being healed by God himself the leper still went out and proclaimed what the Lord had done for him despite being told not to and I find that very very fascinating and interesting <clears throat> so Jesus could no longer openly enter the city but was outside in the deserted places and they came to him my goodness they came to him from every direction the end of chapter 1 of the book of Mark so what we're trying to get to the bottom of here is the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ as the Messiah going forward from the ministry of John we're trying to help the people transition from the Old Testament Mosaic law and its demands into the gospel which was to believe in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ let's go on to chapter 2 shall we Jesus forgives and heals a paralytic and again he ended Capernaum after some days and it was heard that he was in the house I'm not sure that might have been was it Peter's mother's house or something something of Peter's house or something <clears throat> immediately many, many gathered together oh my god the momentum immediately many gathered together so that there was no longer room to receive them not even near the door and he preached the word of them to them now listen what was the word the word was and I'm putting it in our cultural language the Old Testament is about to be fulfilled and closed the kingdom of God and eternal life and the promise and all of that is about to begin when I die on the cross now there's no mention of him mentioning the cross yet I think it would possibly be too soon but the gist of it was the Old Testament's closing the New Testament's about to open and I'm going to shed my blood to open it he didn't lay that on him straight away it would have been too much <coughs> but he does he is building to that this is the object of it all so he preached the word to them then they came to him bringing a paralytic who was carried by four men this guy had had it he couldn't help himself right he'd had it 
and they could not get near to him because of the crowd. Have you ever been to a church meeting, particularly the Pentecostals and Charismatics? You want to get near to the preacher, but you just can't. You just can't. You've got no chance. And that's why the Lord sent the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> now, whoops. They uncovered the roof. Now, this is desperate, isn't it? This is something I, I don't want to put focus on myself, but this is something that we do, me and my friends would do. They got on the roof and started peeling off the tiles. <clears throat> so they had broken through and they let down the bed which the paralytic was lying on. Now this was a spectacle. Believe me, people would have been screaming, shouting, what are you doing? <coughs> Why are you doing this? <clears throat> All that stuff that comes with wrecking somebody's house particularly the roof, not that they get much rain in Israel but you know what I mean <clears throat> as we break out into a large volume of water now the bull sharks I do know that they stalk this area in that channel there but we'll go across anyway it's all part of the adventure isn't it they've lowered this man through the roof of this house. What a spectacle. I love it when the tide's running in. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. If you watch it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.